If you're collecting physical specimens, um, we're, we're kind of suggesting that they come all through the regional coordinators. Um, we have supplies that we can hand out, um, but if you collect them and either put them in acetone or um, in your freezer to preserve them, make sure you keep all of the kind of uh, collection information, the loca location, the time of the day sometimes helpful, put the collector's name, who identified it, uh, that sort of information. For beginners, it's better if they take photographs. That way they're not collecting 500 of the same thing if they don't know how to identify. So a lot of them you can actually identify via photo. And so you can take a picture of most of them and say, okay, it's cool, it's this species, and submit it to iNaturalist and then be done. Um, there are some groups that are trickier and they're a little bit harder to identify. And so some of those, it helps to know which parts of the body to take a picture of. Yeah, uh, taking pictures of as many different angles as you can. Um, sometimes focusing on the end of the abdomen, the terminal appendages there can help identify species. And then those pictures just get put on iNaturalist and uh, experts from around the world can identify them. You go in, it's a free, it's a free website you can, you can join and you just set up an account, you upload a photo, you can select your location and then um, it's actually got a pretty neat algorithm now that you click on the name box and if your internet's fast enough it uses uh, like facial recognition software to identify it at least get close mm -hmm. and it'll tell you most of the time it'll tell you like the group that it's in and sometimes it's you know just nails exactly what it is well um, I hope that you do become interested in dragonflies and damselflies or nature in general there's a bunch of cool stuff around you you don't have to go chase it. It's, it's right in your own backyard. Even in the inner city, if you live in the city, there are saddlebags that will fly around your car and, and you won't have water for miles and you still have these really cool things.